Wind, Storm and Cyclones Part 4 Hello friends, at last the rains have arrived. Due to my changing directions, air pressure, change in temperature and other reasons, the rains arrives. Friends, who does not like the rains, isn't it? After the scorching heat, the cool breeze is such a relief. The farmers impatiently wait for the rain. The rainy season is also known as the monsoon. Do you know how does the monsoon arrive? And storms are also formed because of increase in my speed. Look for answers to questions like these with the help of this video. The objective of this video is to understand about monsoon and storms. Today we got a holiday from the school because of the rain. Come let us have a lot of fun. We shall get wet in the rain. Rope paper boats. Eat hot pakora. Look at the sky. Such dark clouds have formed. It seems I will have to use my umbrella. The rain is very heavy. Look, Ramu Kaka and the other farmers are dancing and welcoming the rain in their fields. Yes, they wait for the rain for the whole year. Look how the weather changes. It was hot till yesterday and it is rainy today. The clouds have appeared like it was time for them to come. The monsoon arrives after the summer. Yes, but it is strange that every year the monsoon arrives in June in our country exactly on time. Hmm, it is not a late comer like you. It is something to think about that the monsoon arrives in Kerala exactly on time. Friends, let me tell you about the monsoon. The land breeze and sea breeze is a natural phenomenon. When land breeze is dry, whereas the sea breeze is full of water vapour. This water vapour is responsible for rain. When the land breeze blows, it's warm and it becomes cold on reaching the sea. On cooling, the amount of water vapour increases. When it comes towards the land, it again becomes warm. And because of this, water vapour condenses and falls as rain. This process continues and is responsible for the onset of monsoon. The sky has become so dark and there is lightning too. I am really scared of the sound of the thunder. What if it falls one day? Are you a coward? There is nothing to be scared of. When two clouds with water collide, thunder is formed. Because of which the lightning is formed. It is because of this that we hear thunder. Yes friends, Meena is right. The droplets of water collided against one another in the clouds and the lightning is formed. I am completely drenched. My mother will get angry if I catch a cold. I am going home. Let us meet in the evening if it stops raining. Pinky, it has stopped raining. Are you coming to play? Yes, I'm coming. Come, let us make paper boats. These puddles are full of water. It will be fun to row our boats. Oh, look at these leaves. They are flying in such an irregular pattern, almost like a funnel. And the sand is also flying in the same pattern. Yes, really. Looks like it is going to rain again. It has become very windy too. Looks like a storm will come. Children, come inside. It looks like there a storm is approaching. Let us go inside. The sand is going in my eyes. Pinky, can you give me some water? I'm thirsty. Oh, 
Oh, Shyam, be careful. The bottle might break and then mother will be very angry. Look, when I swirl the water in this bottle and then upturn it, the water falls like a whirlpool. Shiv, let me also try. Yes, you are right. This is like the leaves which we observed some time back outside. Isn't it the same pattern? Yes, I have seen a similar picture in a science book. It was a picture of a cyclone. Cyclone? What is cyclone? I have read that a cyclone is a very high intensity storm. Yes friends, a cyclone is a kind of storm. Sometimes when the temperature rises, the hot air rises with a gush, an area of low pressure is formed there. Cold air gushes in to replace the empty space. In this way, wind keeps moving and begins to circle around the eye of the storm or the area of low pressure. The eye of the storm is the place with the lowest air pressure. From here, the wind keeps rising and a cyclone is formed. Children, try and listen in. It is being announced on the radio that there is a possibility of a cyclonic activity in the western state of Orissa. Dadaji, does the cyclone cause damage like the other storms? Yes, Sham. There is a lot of difference between a storm and a cyclone. The wind blows with a very high intensity in a cyclone, accompanied with heavy rain. The cyclones occur in the coastal parts, hence the waves of the sea also become huge. Because of all these reasons, there is a lot of damage to life and property. There are winds of high intensity in a cyclone. All the trees, plants, electricity poles, etc. is damaged in the intensity. The normal life is thrown out of gear because of this. As the waves of the sea also become huge, there is a situation of flood also. Children, listen. They are announcing on the radio how the people in the cyclone hit areas need to prepare. It is important to take precaution about the following. To be in contact, your mobile phones should be charged. To be informed on the latest update about the cyclone, you should listen to the radio and TV. Keep all your important documents and papers in a plastic bag. Prepare an emergency kit with all the important items. Drinking water must be available. Baby food and medicines should be ready. Reach a safe place before the cyclone strikes. It looks like the people of Orissa will have to be well prepared. It means that the rain is always not a happy situation. It sometimes brings difficulties with itself. I think we should gather more information on about the cyclone. We should also sensitize the people about the preparedness required in a cyclone. Yes friends, storms like cyclones, tornadoes, typhoon, hurricane are dangerous storms. But nowadays with satellite and radar information, it can be predicted about these storms and people can be warned about them in advance. I hope you will also inform people living around you about these storms. It is very important to have a plan of evacuation ready before a storm like cyclone strikes. Keep this in mind friends, we shall meet soon.